Hey guys, I'm Alan Stolberg. Welcome back to Handbuilt Show 2018. Brought to you by BMW Motorcycles and Progressive. So, today, we're back here. We're, I'm still missing Jesse Combs, but I'm gonna try to make this happen without Jesse. I know you'd probably rather have you Jesse. You got it, man, yeah. you got it. <laughs> so this is Max Hazen. I call you Hazen, I call you Hazan. I've heard all sorts Everyone messes it. it up, it's Hazen. It's Hazen. Yeah, if you mess it up, I probably won't change you because everyone does it. Where are you from again? New York. New York. Originally from New York, that's in LA now. Yeah, that's why. I would think that you would go switch to, to Hazen in New York. But there are other areas where I think Hazan sounds a little more... It does have a little more mystery. I was telling my dad that. I'm like, either we need to change the last A to an E or just go with Hazan. You know, it's... It's sexier. Yeah, it's so, a pain every time. So we, we could talk about his uh, lineage, his family history, all, all we want. But the truth is, we're here to talk about this and, and you, to be, to be honest, one of the most talented people I know. Well, thank I don't you. mean just builders. Like, like that's, my, that's my opinion of you. I'm biased. Obviously, because your art form happens to be motorcycles, but anyway, I wanted to talk about this bike. I want you to tell us about it. I, I really, again, going in flat and cold, don't know much other than this is your personal machine. This is yeah, this you know mine. what? I always wanted to build a bike for myself. It's the first bike I've ever made for myself, and I actually didn't realize that I built myself a bike until last night. I was telling someone about it. They're asking me some questions about the brakes, and I was treating it like a normal project. You know, like a, yeah, I need to finish this, do that, and it's got to be done in a certain time. And you know, it's like there was a deadline involved. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And like, yeah, it's got to be done by this date. And I put it on a truck, and it came here. And I was telling someone about it, and then it just hit me. I was staring. I was like, I get to take that home. And you know, no, no, no one's gonna take it from here, right? Yeah, I mean, I tell you what. You know, I'd say it's my bike, but if someone offered me the right price, I'd be like, just pull the truck up. Okay, yeah, okay, twenty dollars. One, twenty dollars. We'll start there. Okay, just all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What, twenty-one? Twenty notes. So. <laughs> This is your bike, and, and I know why you built this. It's because you raced Supermoto. Yeah, you know, there's a track nearby, and you know, it, going to the track is super fun, and Supermoto is one of like the yeah. the cheapest, safest versions of road racing you can right. do. You know, you go to the big tracks, and it costs a lot, and if you fall off, there's usually a whole big fallout from that, too, and, and it, it's super fun, but you know, I always thought, like, what would it be like to have a bike that was just like a Supermoto track bike, just like a 450? It would feel like a 450, look like one, but over 100 horse, you know, 1,000 cc, and you know, it's it's sitting on the highway at 120 miles an hour, yeah, and it's not yeah. and it's yeah. not really <laughs> stressing, you know. No, I, yeah, it's fine. I bought a DRZ as a computer as a, a computer as a commuter years ago, and you'd be sitting there to keep, like trying to keep up with traffic, and you're just sitting there just ringing it out the whole way, yeah. and they don't last that long like that. So no, you know, this was this was just a fun project. So, so what was this? This was a what year KTM? 2005 950. 950. Okay. And I picked yeah. this one because it was carbureted. Right. And you know, in my style, it, it gives you a little more freedom. You know, you don't have to add, you know, fuel pumps and you know some of the other things, a fuel injection, you know, with some of the wiring. You can kind of clean up the design. Um, to be honest, originally I bought this bike. I love old like TZ 750s, yeah, 70s yeah. race bikes, and that's what I thought I was going to build myself. So that was the idea when I bought it. And you're going to head for a street bike, like a, I'm a track. Yeah, bike. you know, yeah. I mean, like you know, pushing it as far as street legal, yeah, but yeah. I, I was going to ride it on the road, and I took it apart, and even my friends are like can't make that in like a TZ750. It just didn't sit right. You know, the angles really? are wrong. Really? And I was like, well, I own it. So. You're going to use this frame to yeah. do that. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, okay, and it okay. just, it didn't seem like it was going to work out. And I already bought it. So no returns. I was like, you know what? I always want to do the Supermoto. That's it. So the 2005 KTM LCA 1000cc twin, what was it? 120 horsepower? Is it, it, is that what it this is? one was less stock. You okay. know, it was pretty dumbed down. But okay. it, it's, it's around there now. Around there so, now. Okay. Because you've got flat slide. Carburetors. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, not, they're not the best, like, traffic light to traffic <laughs> light, say, but yeah. it's a little on-off. Yeah, yeah, that's the yeah. thing about those carburetors. Yeah, they're yeah, great. Totally. Wide open. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, so uh, when I first built it, I didn't know, like, with, I changed the, the rim, the wheel diameter, and, you know, so much changed that uh, it would wheelie in fourth and fifth gear. And so that's why I had to put a bigger sprocket on the front and change the throttle cam a little bit. But it's still, it's still kind of a handful, man. Dude, I don't know, I think we were talking a bit about this yesterday, I can't remember, was that, I told you that my daily rider now is a, uh, I bought a crashed, a two, not crashed, but a, uh, uh, a theft recovery, 2016 KTM uh, 690 Enduro, right? Yeah, you so mentioned seat that. Height, right, yeah, the seat height's just as high as this thing, mm -hmm. it weighs 300 pounds, uh, in second, third gear wheelies in traffic, 
yeah. so hard to, to stop There's myself. something about that, yeah. this like riding position that just makes you behave a little bad. Because you feel, I think it's because you're over it, you feel more like you're flying. Yeah. When you're, when you're looking down. And you got so much the, leverage and yeah. it's light and you yeah. feel like you can do anything. You feel like you're Superman and then. A little invincible. Yeah. You know, it's not, it's not a real good thing. Like I'm better off just riding something slow, but I always wanted one and, and now I have it. So you, you said yesterday I could ride it. You're going to let me ride it? Oh yeah, really. I know. Okay. I know we, we, we don't have we don't have gas in the bikes here, but no. I but but it'll start right now. Is what you're yeah, totally. Me? All right, yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> so, if, if people don't know, the LCA KTM of that period would be covered with bodywork, plastic work, uh, big fairing, probably what like a six gallon tank or yeah. two tanks. Two tanks. This one had one tank. It so had one. yeah, okay. this one it was a big bike. So. I didn't realize I took that much weight off it, but when it was all done, it was 150 pounds lighter. And so it's only, with uh, all the fluids in it, it's about 315. That's, which is incredible, guys. Yeah. This is like a super, super lightweight bike for the horsepower. The horsepower to weight ratio must be absurd. I can't yeah. do the math in my head, but it's good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's real fun. And I actually, when I look at it now, like when it first showed up you know, and I came I came into the show, I had a hard time finding it. I'm usually, I'm usually used to seeing my bikes all shiny and like, you know, like it's, it's sitting over there or something. Right. You're polishing it, right? And uh, this one, it, it looks stock, and so it was like I felt like I was picking up my rental car in the parking lot, you know, like hitting the button. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I love it. The, the goal was to make something completely custom that the fit and finish was still, you know, good it enough looks, to look. It looks look, factory. Yeah, that it was looks kind of factory. So this is all fiberglass or carbon fiber? So the bodywork is actually aluminum. I was. Um, I'm it's got some end. carbon parts on it. Okay. Oh, I see. You just, you just painted I thought it. About it. I wanted texture. to do carbon, but either way, I was going to have to make, you know, the positive to take a mold off of. Right. So I was like, well, you know, I might as well build an actual full body work, and then when you know when the time comes, if I want to do carbon, I'll take a mold off this, and you know, we'll, we'll do it. So, but this is all alloy that yep. he's made by hand himself. Did you even make this? Yeah, that, that's a yeah, gas yeah. cap there. I mean, the detail work involved in the the filler cap alone. For most people, would be in a huge, huge challenge to get that right. I get a little carried away most of the time, but um, on this that's one, that's a giant understatement. <laughs> yeah, this one, the budget was coming out of my personal account, so I did a lot of this stuff off eBay. But I know? like, yeah, no, I'm with you. I'm with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even when the you wheels. Have to do it for yourself. Yeah. yeah, I wait till the tires are bald before I change them. And I, like, I made so much more work for myself doing it that way. I'm like, I'm gonna get a deal. I bought these magnesium wheels for 800 bucks for the set. And the amount of machining I had to do to make, make them fit work. this bike <laughs> just totally negated all of it. But <laughs> as you know, like MotoGP went to 17-inch wheels, yeah. and and a lot of all the sport bikes now are 17. So there's these 16 and a halfs out there for nothing. For, I, I didn't even realize that. I'm gonna have to get a set. Yeah. I want to put a set on my on my 690. Yeah. I mean, they're magnesium. They're I don't know what less. it is about the Marchesinis. Like yeah. I've got this weird fetish. Just like, how sexy they, they are. You mean? Yeah. They just make everything look like a race bike. I'm, I'm and, trying. And to they're actually gonna discontinue this model. I talked to them. Really? So, They're not yeah. going to sell it anymore? Yeah, so I really wanted to put a set on it, and that was kind of the basis. How about, I, I know I had to ask, this seems mundane, but this seat, did you just bought a, a race seat and made it, I don't understand. It's off of I, didn't, I didn't do anything to the seat. No, but I mean, it's not a factory seat. What's it off of? Uh, I think it's for a KTM. For a KTM. But, yeah, yeah you know what it is? It's, it's, uh, it's an injected mold rubber. So but it, it, but it doesn't look like a loaf of bread. It's real But what I mean is you, you had to form your body work around the seat. That was a pain. That I mean, was a real I pain, never yes. would have, we've never done that. The seat's always the last bit and it conforms to the body work. Yeah. But to you know make what? the body work conform to the seat. Yeah, I knew I knew I liked the idea of having a lot of the new bikes now, like all the factory bikes, the lines are super clean. You know, it's yeah, yeah. it's like flat, flat. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't have got like a, a big loaf edge. of bread sitting on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I saw this and I knew a friend of mine had this seat and I was like, you know, it'll work and it's a hundred bucks. So I was like, if it doesn't so I had to modify the bottom of it, but the real pain was getting all the bottom to fit. Getting the what? Getting like it's all it's all yeah. contoured yeah. to like a factory bike. You know, they have whatever's underneath on a factory bike that you need to try and match up match with. Match up and, with, yeah, yeah. So it was like I said, I always I was trying to do it cheaper on my end. I probably could have saved myself a month of work and just built the bike and then had someone make me a seat. It's true. Yeah. But I like this. The idea of a nice rubber. Rip C. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool, and that adds to the kind of factory look. It's of it. not comfortable, you know. At no, all. no, no, no. Only it's, when you're doing a wheelie and you're not, your butt's not on it. Yeah, is it comfortable? You know, like <laughs> like you think about like how long you're gonna ride it first. You're like, no, uh, where am I going today? And then, did you yeah. live in LA? How how far is your house from your shop? On a motorcycle, it's 15 minutes. 
Um, in a car, it's 45 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, LA is pretty rough. I that. experience that every time I go out there. Splitting lanes saves a lot of time. Yeah. Getting around traffic. Well, dude, I love this. I like this as a departure for you guys that don't know uh, Max Hazan, because I'm going to say it the way I want to say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, the way uh, you always have. Man. You re yeah, <laughs> you really need to Google it and, and and see his stuff. It's mostly, in my opinion, beautiful jewelry, some of the best looking sculpture and rideable kinetic sculpture you've ever seen. Oh, it's, it's uh, great. Thank you. And you know what? I've this built, I built these artistic bikes for a long time, and they all work. Yeah. But everyone picks them apart, and I'm dying to hear what they say about this being not rideable. This is so. rideable. Yeah. It's yeah. not a gold wing, no, but I it's mean, rideable. It is what it is. But, I mean, it's it's a blast to ride, and I hope you can take it out you know, tomorrow afternoon. Well, dude, I, I really appreciate you, as always, making the trip all the way out here. Do it. Yeah, My pleasure. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, I, think uh, I can't wait to see what you do next. I want you to come where, somewhere in between this and the other. Yeah. I think yeah. you can. Actually, the next bike I will. All right. Yeah. I think I have a clue. Yeah, unfortunately. We'll keep it at that. Okay.